The crane rule has been developed or proposed by OSHA to provide for additional certifications for crane operators. It imposes third-party certification requirements under the assumption that delivering and retrieval of propane tanks is somehow related to construction activities that are going on elsewhere in the area. Industry has previously sought exemptions to say, hey, there are certain industries and certain segments that use a crane for a specific purpose, a specific set of parameters that don't need to come under the general expensive requirements that have been proposed. Our specific concern is that despite the various conversations that we've had with OSHA, OSHA still doesn't seem to understand how different propane tank delivery and retrieval is from other industries and specifically any sort of construction activity. In the construction industry, a crane operator would be on the crane probably for five to eight hours at a time. Here at Dixie Gas, it's a less than 20 minute process to take the tank off the truck and to set it in the final location of where it's going to be set. We don't have the wide variety of uses, the heights, load lifting needs during construction processes. Essentially what a propane crane operator does is set the tank off of the truck onto the site where it's going to be used or the reverse if they need to pick the tank back up. It's not a wide ranging different set of requirements each time. Safety is a number one priority. It is very, very important from upper management to the bottom level. We have enough educational procedures in place that we have more than adequately covered the needs of our employees and our marketers and our industry. The industry utilizes mobile crane safety training that is tailored to propane tank deliveries and retrievals. Every year we do a safety update or a safety topic on crane training and crane operator. The requirements that have currently been proposed by OSHA really add a whole new layer of training that's just redundant and it's requiring it to be done by third party testers and it's going to add a tremendous financial burden to the industry which unfortunately ultimately gets borne by the customers. We're talking about a total figure of conservatively $151 million every five years. We feel like all the bases have been covered, that nobody's going to gain except the ones doing the testing because it's an additional revenue stream. Our employees are properly trained. They're not going to gain from it. The consumer is having a safe operation done because we have already done the training. We're going to Congress and we'd like them to help support us in our efforts to get a full and permanent exemption for the propane industry so that our industry can move forward continuing to do the safe job that they do.